So hello scrappers and electronics nerds everywhere. Today we are at Apache Reclamation in Phoenix, Arizona. This is one of my favorite surplus stores, so this is going to be another in my series of electronic surplus stores. Unfortunately, just before I flew out here, I checked their Facebook page and they are closing this site down. They are actually in the process of selling out the inventory and moving the inventory to their other store in Albuquerque, Surplus City. And um, I got here as quick as I could. Well, I, I got here, I got off the plane, I came straight here, got an Uber straight here, and going to do some shopping and see what we can find. And uh, hopefully there's still some good stuff inside. So unfortunately... I got here just as the place is shutting down and after the going out of business sale has already started. So in the front room here, there's already a lot of empty shelves, but I've already talked to the owner and what they're doing is they're uh, gathering up stuff and shipping it off to the uh, store in Albuquerque that the same family runs, the Surplus City, which I have another video on. And I'll put a link to that up in the upper right hand corner up here and you can watch that surplus city video and a lot of this stuff's going to wind up there in the future but uh let's have a little look around here in the back where there's still a lot of stuff now they've got a lot of packing up to do this is the 28th and he said he has to be out of here by the end of the month I don't see that happening. Especially since I flew into town. I didn't bring my truck, so I can't buy a huge amount of stuff, which I would like to. I'm going to have to be very judicious in what I purchase. And then probably pack a box and ship it home. Alright, let me do some shopping here. I'll give you views of various areas of the store as I go. Got lots of Variacs over here. Who doesn't love a good Variac? Oh, and there's some more glassware up here. Um, I got a little more information from the owner. Uh, they actually have 90 days to clear out, but I don't know if they're actually going to be open that long. They just have, the rip, have to have the building ready to turn over to the new owner after 90 days. So, um, you know, the, you may be able to come out here for the next few days, few weeks, possibly, and do some shopping. So if you're in the area around, you know, end of October 2021, come out and, and uh, see what they got. You might be able to make a good deal. So this aisle here, there's a bunch of uh, motor starter capacitors on the left side. And just a whole bunch of different stuff on the right hand side. All kinds of things. It's kind of jumbled up. The noise you hear in the background is them disassembling shelves and packing stuff up for shipment. Looks like we got some big contactors down here. Along this side over here. And some sort of electrical boxes over here. To be perfectly honest, I don't know exactly what they are. Maybe some transformers down here. More contactors. Yeah, transformers. Oh, lots of transformers. <laughs> that looks like a project I built on a piece of plywood back when I was a kid. I wonder how it wound up here. like yeah more contactors smaller ones and this stuff over here looks like valves yeah electrically operated valves for the most part Huge fuses over here, just gigantic. 
600 amp, 500 amp, 400 amp, 300 amp, or a modest size fuses over here. Fuse holders for all those big fuses. What's in this aisle? Uh, capacitors, it looks like. Yeah. Like lots of capacitors on the left side and on the right side, it looks like we've got resistors. All right, and this aisle goes, whoa, way back there. And it is narrow and tight, let me tell you. It's packed. dark in here too. What are we getting into over here? Looks like some kind of power supplies. And uh, rotary switches. Yeah, definitely power supplies of some sort. And over here we got some motors. Boy, it's dark back here. These lights aren't working. And then potentiometers, rheostats, more motors, little ones. It's like probably AC synchronous motors. Oh, we're getting into bigger motors now. Yeah, we're getting into some big stuff over here. It's got some pumps too. And then smaller motors up here. Ooh, I need to take a close look at those. Those might be good motors for uh, wind turbines. Let me look at those. No good. They look like the same sort of DC motors I use to build wind turbines, but uh, nope, those are uh, actually AC motors. And most of them feel like the bearings in them are seized up. So yeah, no good. Let me look around at these motors a little more though. So over here, it looks like we got meters, and over here, it looks like we got heaters. Meters and heaters, okay. And thermal couples, and uh, kinds of good stuff. Let's see if there's anything I can use with my kilns over here. And then this aisle goes way back. It's gonna take my way, take me a little while to work my way down it and check it all out. There is a lot, there's a lot of strange stuff here. We've kind of moved into gauges now. <laughs> there's some really interesting gauges. Um, Standard cubic feet per hour times 10,000, I think. Yeah, I guess for metering gas flow. Huh? Interesting. It's like different uh, plumbing fittings. Okay. Yeah, we got all kinds of plumbing fittings over on this side. This stuff, uh, timers, I guess. Yeah, timers. Okay. Oh, and then heat sinks, by the looks of it. Lots of, well, are they whole power supplies? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, they're just heat sinks with transistors mounted on them. Yeah, all kinds of heat sinks. Yep. Oh, they're getting big. Further down the aisle I go. Yep. And on this side... Hmm. Perfectly honest, I don't know what some of this stuff is. Oh, hinges. Furniture parts, maybe? I don't know. Uh, kind of automatic switch. Message service. Translator. I don't know. I don't know what those things up top are. Transformer cores, maybe? I don't know. They're weird looking, whatever they are. 
Oh, you know what? They made a graphite. Ah, some sort of like. I don't know. They're graphite, though. Huh. Molds, I guess. Huh. Those are interesting. I'll have to look at those a little closer. I might have use for some graphite molds. So, I don't have much in my bucket yet, but I did grab two halves of a graphite mold. I don't really have any use for the mold, but I can repurpose the graphite for something else, I think. We'll see what they're asking for. And then further down the aisle, we're getting into fans. All kinds of cooling fans. More heat sinks on this side. Uh, their smoke detectors are low on battery. Looks like trailer parts over here. Yeah. And then in the back here, we've got a whole bin full of... Looks like giant circuit breakers. Okay. Okay, they've been hard at work in this aisle. They've been packing stuff up. So, uh, we got fasteners, pipe fittings over here. And then we got some big carts or crates that they've packed up full of stuff and then I need to get over on the other side over here I'm gonna to have to go around probably and see what's down here this looks interesting it looks like there's uh, all sorts of plugs and connectors and uh, feed throughs and whatnot over there I may need to look through that stuff and I don't even know what's in these bins over here I can't see and then what's further down here more pipe fittings Pipe fittings, pipe fittings, pipe fittings, brass, steel. Oh, grommets. Lots of grommets, but no Wallaces. All right. More pipe fittings. And looks like more grommets. I can't really get around this stair. I'll have to go around, see what's on the other side. Okay, I went around the rolling stair, and we got more fasteners, and pipe and conduit clamps, and they've been palletizing their bins of fasteners over here for shipping. So, let me grab my shopping bucket here. Oh, springs. Yeah, springs. See if I can skirt my way through this. Ah, more fasteners over here. Telephone stuff. Old, beat up keyboards. And point of sale terminal over there. And a couple point of sale terminals. Fasteners. Like uh, patch boards. Subscriber loop tester. More telephone stuff, yeah. Alright. More telephone stuff. Oh, good old AB switches for your printers. How? 1980s. Okay. Of course, I am into retro computing, so, you know. Uh, not sure what some of this stuff is. Uh, oh, looks like PS2 extension cables. Okay, and now we're over here into that section I couldn't get to before with all the pass-throughs and connectors and whatnot. Let me look through this stuff and see if there's anything I can't live without for any of my projects. This aisle is a little messy. Looks like we got some more capacitors and they're scattered all over the floor. All kinds of capacitors. And then some kind of sort of test equipment over here. 
Uh, model 1077 television television analyst. Okay. Probably pretty obsolete. Well, but it doesn't analyze modern televisions. Video pattern generator. Pattern and sweep generator. Interesting. Yep. Huh. Test fixture for controller dimming. Huh. All kinds of neat equipment in here. Don't know what most of it does. Still got capacitors over here on this side. Uh, ooh, non-destructive insulation tester. I wonder if it's like a high pot. Yeah, KV. It's some sort of high pot test, high pot tester. And there's another one down below it. All right. I already have one, or I'd be tempted. And then we got power supplies and more capacitors. Yep, lots of power supplies. Ah, now we're into. Nuts, bolts, fasteners, and more power supplies. Condor. Used to use a lot of Condor power supplies back in the day. Got no use for linear supplies these days. It's all switching now. More power supplies. And some sort of test equipment over here. What do we got? Uh, no, these are power supplies too. All right. Rack mount power supplies. All right, cool. And then more palletized stuff. Bins that have been put on a pallet. Looks like micro switches. All kinds of switches. And who knobs? Knobs, rope, and uh, blinking lights. And this aisle, wow. I can't blame this on the going out of business sale. These aisles kind of looked like this the last time I was here a couple years ago. Fire the maid. So I got some more power supplies up here. And let me part of the conveyor belt there. Some sort of conveyor stuff. Yeah, some big sprockets down there and pulleys. Oh yeah, bins full of sprockets. Okay, and a bunch of sprockets up here. And over here, this is like household stuff. You have plates, chandeliers, lights. This is whole household stuff over here. Oh, pulleys and sheaves. Not really sure what the difference is between a pulley and a sheave, to be perfectly honest. Their power supply in amongst the household wares. More power supplies on this side. Uh, fog machine. Tone Arc Model 5. Resistance Fault Tone Locator. Huh. Some old flat screen monitors up here. More household stuff. Speakers. Emergency lights. But he's really ornate house number. Wow. I'll bet that costs some money. Uh, what do we got up here? Some sort of radios. A whole bunch of little radios. Our household stuff on this side. And... Huh. I don't know what that is. 
I don't know. Seriously retro looking, whatever it is. And some kind of rack mount stuff up here. Looks like audio equipment. Yeah, I think it's audio equipment. And this is all either audio or lighting equipment, I think. Film projectors. Oof, Tecmar, ALS 2016. I have no idea. It's like some sort of laboratory test equipment. I would say all this is laboratory test equipment. What it does, I don't know. Some sort of measuring apparatus down here. That's got a huge micrometer head on the bottom of it there. Huh. Um, electrical outlets of all different kinds. Ooh, that reminds me. I need a particular type of outlet, too. I'll have to look through here and see if they have it. Okay, that looks like that is a huge uh, variac built into this console here with a readout for amps, volts, and watts. It's an impressive piece of equipment. Got no use for it. Impressive as hell, though. What we got here? Wheels and casters. And rack mount test equipment. Lots of wheels and casters getting even pretty darn big and uh... what do we got here? Got some HP stuff 8182A data analyzer I'll bet that cost a pretty penny back in the day but you can pick it up cheap here right now More rack mount test equipment. Oh, I recognize this. That's a label printer. I get a lot of those in my scrap pickups. Heavy as can be. More rack mount stuff. The back of the housewares aisle. More housewares over here. oscilloscopes maybe big ones down there more rack mount equipment pico ammeter wow that's measuring small currents that's got a lot of buttons on it process status uh ramp you know what? I could use that to control my kilns. Too bad it's so big. I mean, I've got little Omega things that are, you know, <laughs> the size of this area right here. This thing's a tank. Huh. Martini glasses? Shaken, not stirred. More palletized stuff, ready to go. Sitting up by the dock over here. Waiting for the truck. Fluorescent bulbs. Racks of, well, looks like more electrical connectors. Yep. What's down this aisle? Oh, there's civil defense barrels. They got a lot of them here. Use them for storing stuff. They originally held water in uh, fallout shelters. Kind of antique -y. What in the world is this thing? There it is. It's a big one. Adult volume ventilator. Oh, it's medical equipment. Okay. Uh, these have the look of modems. Is that what they are? Ooh, 
Oh, they're filthy. I'm going to have to wash my hands. I would say they are modems, yes. I'm going to be all filthy. When I check in the motel, they're going to think I'm a vagrant. This place is dirty. I love this kind of dirt, though. Uh, MicroMaster Vector Siemens. Uh, you know what? I'll bet these are spindle drives. I would just bet they are. Uh huh. I gotta watch the ground. I'm tripping over stuff. I end up falling flat on my face. DC meter, sensitive DC meter. And just miscellaneous sounds there. Ultrasonic cleaning tanks. There's just so much stuff here. Oh, that's a peristaltic pump. Metered pump. Light sources. For like octopus lights. Okay. At least that's what we call them. I don't know what the actual technical term for them is. This is centrifuge? Uh, maybe for like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's a centrifuge for something. Something small. Maybe pipettes. And then looks like we got some hydraulic lines here. And circuit breakers. And then down here at the end of the aisle, we got ovens. And coating smish something. I can't quite read it. It's a weird font. And more circuit breakers. Miscellaneous fittings and connectors. Books. Oh, I cover everything from uh, carpentry to auto repair to nursing. Huh. Like fiction, too. And what do we got here? Oh. I know what those are. Those are those LED crossing signs that you see at the street that either tell you to cross or give you the hand to say don't cross. Some big machinery up here on these shelves, but I don't immediately recognize it. Uh oh, biohazard. Report out of range temperature to supervisor 33 to 37 degrees. More pallets of stuff ready to go. To be perfectly honest, some of this stuff just looks like scrap metal. I hope they can sell it, but they shouldn't get their hopes up. Hose. All kinds of hose. And more electrical stuff over here. Outlet plates, metal ones. And more hose. Oh, it's dark back here. And now oh, boxes of stuff. Don't know what's in it. This is interesting. That's what I thought. They're outlets. This must be like a... Uh, an outlet expander for like... Uh, Construction sites or something. Christmas wrapping. Well, Christmas is coming. Oh, and Santa hats. That is a monstrous, I would imagine, conduit bender. That'll bend you some big conduit. You better have a big guy and a long pole on the end of it, though. Find your keys. Okay. Ah, pipe threading stuff. 
That's about as far as I can go down this aisle. It's just taking me back to the dock again. Oh, and then we got pipettes over here. I'm back out front because I basically have to come around the front because I couldn't get through some of the aisles out there to get back to where I wanted to be. They used to have tons and tons of great laboratory glassware here. I've bought stuff here before, but they are down to just uh, bare bones of it now. I assume they ship most of it off to Albuquerque because they sell a lot of it there too. I did see a few things out here out front I want to look at. Ooh, we still got all of the corks and stoppers here. But, uh, let's see, we got uh, dip switches, rotary switches, and BCD maybe. Uh, oh, yeah, selenium cells, LEDs. Let me actually purchase a few LEDs. Actually, what I'm looking for... Ah, seven segment displays, but I'm looking for like... four or six gang seven segment displays. Let's see if they have any left. Well, let me put the phone down and look through all this stuff and see if I can find some stuff to buy. I'm in the very back room now. Kind of a mixed bag back here, but I found... Bins full of IC sockets. Oh, look at that. Gold pins and everything. Lots of IC sockets. Oh, wire wrap with gold pins. Nice. So we got the IC sockets. And then this wall over here. This is ICs and transistors. I'm going to have to go through this stuff. Uh, just in a quick cursory inspection, I see a few things that interest me. So I may be leaving here with some ICs for my retro computing projects. Okay, got a bunch of IC chips and a few sockets in there. A whole bunch of IC chips. Um, classic old processors and interface chips for my retro computing projects. Okay, Jones connectors. I can always use some Jones connectors. Let me look through this. Not a huge selection here. But let me look through this and see if there's some I can use for my projects back home. I can see I'm going to have to ship a box back home. I can't see getting this stuff through the airport tomorrow, some of it. found a bunch of crystal oscillators of various frequencies I can use for my uh, retro computing projects so they're going in the in the bucket okay well that was shopping at Apache Reclamation during their uh, closing unfortunately I can't recommend you come out here and uh, you know try to uh, buy stuff from them unless you're in the immediate area and get out here in the next few days because uh, it's very sad they're closing up but I have a box full of stuff that I'm going to ship home and because I got to get on another airplane tomorrow morning and I can't see this stuff getting through TSA inspection plus you know it's pretty heavy so I'm going to ship that home and get on the plane tomorrow and go on with my vacation so anyway thanks for watching I hope this you found this video interesting informative educational give it a thumbs up give it a like um, subscribe to see future videos. There will be more videos in this series of electronic surplus stores. They haven't all closed down yet. There's still a few around. So subscribe and press the little bell icon that YouTube makes you press to be notified when new videos come out because there will be new videos in this vein coming out as well as lots of other subjects. So thanks again for watching. Bye.